Hello and welcome to another video from the events calendar. My name is Addison and today I will be walking you through how to create a museum events WordPress site using Cadence WP's free children's museum starter template. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you'll need to do is install the Cadence theme. So let's go over to appearance and themes and let's click add new. Now we can search for Cadence. And we'll just go ahead and install this and activate it. Now that we have it activated, you'll see a thank you for choosing the Cadence theme window appear. And you'll also see install Cadence starter templates. So let's go ahead and install that. Okay, so these are the Cadence starter templates. Um, by default, Gutenberg is selected, but if you're using Elementor, you can switch that here. And let's go ahead and look for just the free starter templates. Let's scroll down until we see the Children's Museum. I know it's pretty far down. Here we go. So we'll go ahead and select that. So now you can choose the color scheme, the font family, and whether you would like to import the templates as a single page or as a full site. I like the way it looks, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Let's scroll down. And you'll see required plugins. So for this starter template, Cadence Blocks, the Event Calendar, and Event Tickets are required. However, you don't need to worry about installing them individually. When you import the starter template, it will go ahead and install those plugins as well. So now we just need to decide if we want to do a single page or the full site. And I'm going to go ahead and install the full site here. Now you can enter in your email address and subscribe and start import. For this example, I'm just going to skip and start importing. And let's give that a minute to import. Okay, now that the starter template is imported, let's go ahead and click Finished View Your Site. So right out of the box, you'll have a completely operational children's museum website. And now comes the fun part. You can start adding your content, including your events calendar, and start configuring the various sections to your liking. So to make changes to the content and the elements, you'll just simply click the edit page in the toolbar. And we're on the home page right now, so I'm going to click edit page so we can start editing the home page. And now that we're in the editor, I'm going to show you a couple of options to help you customize and design your page. The first place to check out is the Cadence Design Library, which comes standard. And this is a great way to swap out your images. So definitely take a look at these options. Next, we have the Cadence Blocks control, and this is where you control the default blocks and the color palette. And lastly, we have Page Settings, and this is where you'll control the global settings for the entire museum events page. And here we have the events widget which you can edit directly on this page if you'd like. And if you need to edit the block, you just click the little icon and you have options to edit here. And from there, you can continue to populate the calendar with your events and add additional information, such as your staff and any parent quotes that you have. And that was just the home page. There's other pages that are preset, like about, contact, and volunteer. So you can go ahead and personalize those pages as well. And if you like the idea of the Cadence starter templates, but the museum isn't quite your thing, don't worry. You can check out the other Cadence WP starter templates and find the right one that fits your needs. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.